Thank you for staying with us and welcome back. Now joining me, uh, joining me on the set now is John Samaras, um, popularly known as Sam Fuel. He is a guru and you know entrepreneur on the Copper Belt who is very famous for growing absolutely fantastic businesses in the fuel industry as well as the milling industry and most recently in the stone and mining industry as well, venturing into digital solutions and e-commerce. And we will get to speak to him a little bit more to understand what Sampe is all about and some of the impact they're doing in Zambia. John, welcome. Absolute pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming through. Um, let's just have a quick conversation to start. What was the vision and, you know, the inspiration behind Sampe? You know, um, being in Zambia my whole life, um, you know, doing business in the Copper Belt for a long time, obviously having the inroads into Lusaka, you know, um, I saw there was an opportunity um, for a parallel to the banking system, mm -hmm. per se. You know, there was a need and a demand for a system that was easy to use, cheaper to use, and um, an application that can go deep into the roots of Zambia as well, you know. So we had a vision of developing Sampay as the Google of online transactions, mm -hmm. and that was five years ago. It was started and born in uh, Indola. And, you know, with, with our development team, we've progressed, progressed a little bit every day, um, pushed the coin, as they say. And, you know, here we are five, five and a half years later, and we've got a pretty full system. I mean, uh, you know, it covers, uh, you know, a fully integrated payment system. Um, we've developed 28 e-commerce apps, mm -hmm. um, you know, which gives every user an opportunity to, to do business and do online shopping or online um, shops per se. Um, and, yeah, it's easy to use. It's got a business uh, app attached to it. So it's, it's more like one platform every opportunity that's how we call it absolutely love it and i would like to say that you have built a solution for zambians and by zambians right 100 percent. 100 percent. we are um, very proud of that actually fantastic <laughs> for zambians you know your target market being individuals being smes being retailers by zambians tapping into the pool the local pool of talent in terms of developers and etc so that's absolutely commendable and a job well done to you Thank you so much. I mean, I think we're tired of, of hearing us as Zambians are not good enough, you know. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we started off on this journey, and we've, this is a fully Zambian-developed app. And, you know, we started it for Zambia, but re we, we honestly believe that with how far we've progressed, we can integrate for the region, number one, mm -hmm. and then the rest mm -hmm. of the world. Absolutely. Um, you know, recently we went to Finland um, with AGS, uh, the project team, and the Finnish government. We went to Slash. And we, we, we came into contact with a lot of startups. It's mm -hmm. the biggest startup function in the world. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a number, well, one or two were actually electronic banking platforms per se, you know, online payment systems. Mm -hmm. And we believe what we've developed in Zambia um, is online and, and in, in line with the vision that has been created elsewhere as well. So mm -hmm. we're very excited to obviously establish it on the Zambian market mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, with the correct marketing budget. I mm -hmm. believe we're ready to do it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, take it to the rest of the world because there's a demand um, for this platform everywhere else. And as a Zambian, I can't wait um, to actually offer that on the international uh, market as well. Fantastic. And, you know, you saying that you're taking your app to the world, to Africa and the world, um, reminds me of the president's slogan, you know, when he says Zambia is open for business. One Did time. you have that in the back of your mind when you introduced, you know, um, you know, the Sampay MasterCard, which allows you to transact in over at least six, uh, you know, foreign currencies? How is that going? Well, you know what? I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, the Sampay MasterCard was developed over one and a half years. You know, mm -hmm. it's a it's a long process. Obviously, MasterCard's a lot, got a lot of um, steps along the way. And we integrate it. We've got a MasterCard where you can load your, your Zambian account. And then up onto the MasterCard platform, you've got Zambian Kwacha, South African Rand, the Euro, Pound, Chinese Yen. Mm -hmm. um, and what else have we missed? Um, I think it's, it's, it's South the US dollar. Rand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's six of them. And, I, and, I, and, you know, I mean, what it does, it allows us to trade internationally yeah it allows us to buy um out, outside zambia and mm -hmm. bring those products in mm -hmm. you know where where, where the, the key factor is is that you can load it on any booth you mm -hmm. can load the sandpay platform at any booth in mm -hmm. zambia mm -hmm. and immediately have foreign currency so mm -hmm. you know it, it gives a level playing field uh, and you know it, it includes everyone as well which I, we're very proud of you know 
And, you know, in line with the president's vision to digitize Zambia and the markets, um, these are the products that we need. And, you know, we need to progress these, these products as Zambians, mm -hmm. support them as Zambians, have mm -hmm. the confidence in them, and, you know, take them into every rural area as well so that everyone can trade at a lower price, um, not huge cost that, that, that they uh, could be incurring at the moment. Mm -hmm. And, you know, instead of having the, the cash transactions, you have, um, you know, the phone-to-phone -phone transactions mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. the digital solution, which is absolutely amazing. Love that. And you are tackling on such an important issue for Zambia at the moment in terms of financial inclusion, um, reaching out to the rural areas in terms of smart, uh, smartphone mobile penetration and offering products and solutions on smartphones um, through financial inclusion. Walk us through Sam Chilimba. How is that going? Yeah, Sam Chilimba is a, an absolutely fantastic product. I mean, um, first of all, you know, the, the number of, of mobile users in Zambia rose last year to 9.9 .9 million users. Mm -hmm. you know, so that's a, a large part of the population if we're looking at 18, 19 million people mm -hmm. as the population. So mm -hmm. you know, we're progressing at a very rapid rate every year. Yeah. And you know, what that enables us to do is, is use IT to progress and develop our companies. Yes. And obviously be competitive on the, on the whole platform. So you know, what happened with Sampay is right in the beginning, um, I actually had a legal meeting. Mm -hmm. And the lady that I met with, she said, John, can I use Sampay, you know, to facilitate our Chilimba? Because one of the ladies in Chilabombwe, one's in Kitwe, and the rest of us out of the 10 are in Indola. Mm -hmm. And what we've got is the box that we put in the middle of the group every time we meet once a month. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the problem with that is obviously security, management of the accounts, and, you know, the book going in and out, it's all manually record recorded. So I had a look at this. It was the first time I'd seen this concept. Mm -hmm. And what we did, we did a, w with our team, it was actually quite exciting. We went into different um, markets and we met with different ladies, older ladies, younger ladies. Um, and what we did is we actually progressed a, 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 a product mm -hmm. that represents the black box inside the middle of that mm -hmm. uh, group. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what happens is that once you download the Sam Chilimba app, the ladies enter their own constitution because every group has those different rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it's a 1% fee in and a 1% fee out. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, everyone can manage their money in and out the group. Absolutely. It's, Love a, that. it's magical. It's magic indeed. Um, we've, talk, we've talked about your app. We've talked about what you're doing um, in terms of e-commerce. And you're literally playing into the same um, level field with the banks and the telecoms. What has your experience been like? Do you think the pie is large enough to share, or is there competition between fintechs and banks and telecoms? Yeah, look, I mean, um, the total uh, value of the, uh, the mobile money transactions was $9.9 .9 billion last year, you know, so it's a, it's a big market. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I wouldn't, you know, I think this is the misperception. Um, it, you know, I don't think we're competing with banks or MNOs. You know, it, what we're doing as Sampay is emphasizing everyone. We're an integrator, so our users are able to use all the MNOs to load and, and, and take out cash if they need it. Mm -hmm. um, and the banks are facilitating by virtue of our, our, our structure in Zambia through the Bank of Zambia. Um, the, the money actually lies in a trust account with one of the big banks you know, for security reasons. So in essence, what we, we are is an integrator and we're not competing against banks or MNOs. Those are the giants. You know? What we're doing is allowing every Zambian the equal opportunity to interact with these banks and MNOs. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that concept, you know, um, we, we want to grow everyone and, you know, uh, the different value that the m and can add to Sandpay, I can pass that on to our users yes. and likewise with the banks. Mm -hmm. The other thing um, that was identified at one of um, the meetings I had was that we believe that banks should be supporting this and m and should be supporting this because... What we believe is that as we progress in the market, mm -hmm. you know, banks are going to be forming more of a security um, structure in the background. Correct. And us as um, the, 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 the tech companies are actually the retail arm to go into the different homes and to, to everyone's accounts. So if we, can, if we can get that perception right in Zambia, where the banks can have a security structure um, and lend into the market through the fintechs and emphasize us as fintechs, you know, we can actually grow every, every sector in Zambia and the 9.9 .9 million users mm -hmm. immediately, mm -hmm. where the banks can offer cheaper rates of lending into mm -hmm. the market because once we have that interaction with the user, we'll have a, a history of their, their balances and their turnover, and we can lend according to those balances and turnover. Yeah. You know, where we are in Zambia is we're in a very progressive market. 
And um, where we have uh, people a bit reluctant to go into history on, on mobile money accounts and stuff, mm -hmm. we should actually change that um, understanding into making it a positive and, and a, a, a foundation for us to receive money absolutely. at, at if effective interest rates, you know what I mean? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, it's essentially providing seamless transactions, you know, with lots of benefits and reaching a multitude of people across the country. Correct, absolutely yeah. love that. You and it's real time. It's real There's time. There's no delays, you know. I mean, you can make payments 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And, I mean, that, that's what's exciting, you know. Yeah. The ladies in the market buying food, uh, you know, vegetables coming in from, say, Choma and different places into Lusaka can make that payment at one minute past four when that, 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 that vegetable arrives, you know. Mm. I mean, that's the dynamic we're looking about, efficiency and, and lower cost of transfer. Absolutely. Um, just sort of winding up. You know, you mentioned the Bank of Zambia um, and, and your company being, you know, legally licensed and supported by the Bank of Zambia. And, you know, there's a notion that digital payments or digital solutions are quite unsecure and there's an issue and element of trust. How is the regulator coming in to support fintechs such as yours in Zambia? Absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the support from the, the ministries, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's been, it's been great for us. I, I, you know, the support that we've received from the Bank of Zambia and the ministries is great. Mm -hmm. And you know, what, what makes us proud is that, you know, the emphasis for us is on micro, small and medium enterprises mm -hmm. and the informal sector as, as well as the formal sector, where we're giving equal opportunity to everyone, you know. The micro, small and medium enterprises are the backbone of our economy. We have to grow that, okay, to grow Zambia. We need to grow the smaller companies in Zambia to the large businesses that are listed on the stock exchange, you mm -hmm. know, uh, mm -hmm. and, and that we get reports for. Yeah. That's where we need to progress in Zambia. We need to support each other to get to that level. And it's, 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 it's platforms like this that we've created in Zambia that are going to enable us to do that. Absolutely. And that's why it's exciting. Yeah, enabling innovation, uh, innovative solutions. That's fantastic. And just tackling on the issue of, you know, um, trust and, and secure payments. How secure is Sampe? Let's talk about data protection. Let's talk about cybersecurity and ransomware. How confident can people be in solutions such as yours? I love this question. Um, because, you know, like I said earlier, the online payment systems um, through Bank of Zambia have actually two layers of protection. So they're actually m more protected than a bank account per mm -hmm. se, because a bank holds the money in a trust account, which has got all its firewalls and protective gear per se. And then us as SamPay have got insane protection with regards to your information, with regards to um, the value in your account as well. So we've actually, as a FinTech, have got double layer of protection. So, mm -hmm. you know, again, it's about interpretation and understanding that the fintechs that are coming through now are so well managed through the Bank of Zambia, we've got those two layers of protection. So it's actually safer to use us moving forward mm -hmm. and cheaper. So Safe and cheap. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, music to the audience, music yeah. to the Zambian individual listening. And, you know, in closing, I'm just going to ask about the future roadmap of Sampe. You know, venture capitalism um, is growing in Africa as a source of um, funds and access to finance for lots of fintechs. How has that been for you in terms of access to finance at country level, at Africa level? And what does the future look like for Sampe? Yeah, look, uh, one of the restricting factors in, in building a, a vision like this is the actual um, access to money. And, um, you know, because you've got a concept, you're building a concept. And in other areas of the world, um, you know, they've got support from, from their governments and different venture capitalists that are in that region and are focused on that region. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned about Finland, we went to the, the biggest startup um, function in the world where venture capitalists, there was 2,600 investors and 9,000 startups, you know. Um, and I got tired of hearing, you know, well, you've got a fantastic product, there's a lot of potential, but you don't have the mandate to, to invest in Zambia or Africa per se. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do as Zambians, and we appeal to the, the ministers and our leaders, is to harbor that in Zambia, in, invite venture capitalists who want to invest in Zambia and the region here. And I do believe that the AGS team um, and, 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 and the team that we went to Finland with have been working on a similar um, event in Zambia, which I think is great for, for this sector and it's great for the young dynamic ideas that are coming through because 
it's an ever evolving um, sector, you know, and we want to keep up with that and we want to be market leaders. You know, you're looking at Kenya, the money's in Kenya already, you know, it's a big market. We need to attract those investors and even local banks mm -hmm. to invest in, in our vision and what we've created, mm -hmm. you know, um, and that will emphasize um, our ability to grow. Absolutely. You know, if from, 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 from now, if we get the buy-in and the support from the Zambians, okay, we can grow the, the numbers and the, the business whereby it will be even more attractive for those investors to come in as well. So we need to support our Zambian technology as well as Zambians and use it, you know, and, yeah. and make us competitive with the world because yes. every single day we are developing more and more. Developing more and more indeed. So we're appealing to the audience and we're appealing to yeah. both as much support as possible to come on board to grow the fintech industry and also just tap into lots of opportunities that are available. Before I let you go, it's Women's Month and you are a big believer in women empowerment. I mean, you know, your app should be and is tackling issues of financial inclusion, covering, you know, diversity, covering inclusion, covering women. How big is this as a passion project for you to also empower the women? You know what, I, I, I always, I'm a firm believer, you know, um, I want everyone to have the equal opportunity from the beginning and, uh, and as we progress. So I, I don't want to say men, woman, whatever it is, I want to say as Zambians we want to progress. Okay. And you know, Sandpay is there. You know, you can start your online shop in three minutes for free on, on Sambezi. You can rent your bicycle out on Sam Rent, you know. You can open up a business account to effectively transfer and receive money as a business um, a business owner immediately in three minutes, you know. So we've created the platform to enable that equality and that, that reach. And I appeal to women, to men, if you're good enough and you want it bad enough, add value on the same pay platform because we want, we've designed it for people to add value. We've, we've set up the opportunity. Now, if you want to make money from what we've created, on, especially on the e-commerce, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. add that value and the rewards will be ph phenomenal. Fantastic. John, it's been a pleasure having you. You are currently um, slightly over 20,000 downloads, you know, of your app and your target is to get to 500,000 and beyond. We wish you the very best at Financial Insights Zambia. This is going to be a success story and the country is behind you. So fantastic. And thank you for joining us. Absolutely awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're going to take